Hey, welcome, uh, wel welcome back to the, let you in. Um, welcome back to Warzone Workshop. Uh, this, oh, this, uh, this is my, uh, my FAL that I've been working on, fixing up. Uh, I got this, uh, from a buddy of mine. It was, uh, not working, and, uh, it used to be a church youth group airsoft gun. Um, and now it is, uh, now it, it, it's still needing some stuff. I need to, uh, I need to make a new, uh, adapter to connect to the battery to connect to the inner wiring for the gun. But I, uh, I have a, I have a plan for that and, um, I'm going to do that. But, uh, I figured I'd do some soldering and show some soldering work videos. If you're interested in that, uh, redoing some batteries and doing a connector for this thing. And then getting this thing ready to go. I have tested it, though. I jerry-rigged some stuff together just so I could connect a battery to it. And boom, 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 boom. It worked perfectly after I got it all cleaned out, re-greased, and uh, back together. And now it is working just fine. But then, because I'm, because I'm ridiculous, I wanted the pack box not on this side, which is what it's supposed to be because the wiring would, you know, there's a slit in the barrel for the wiring to come out into the handguard on this side. So they meant for it to be on this side. Uh, like every photo I've seen online where they haven't HPA'd this thing, they uh, they have it on this side, the left side of the rifle. Uh, the same side as the charging handle. Um, I really like to do that C grip where you take your thumb up and over the top. Uh, and with the pec box on the side of the gun, I just couldn't have the angle grip and the pec box that was just way too girthy <laughs> so i had to slim it out a bit i had to put it on the top so that i could have my thumb resting up on top of the rails like that which is much more comfortable for me uh especially if i put side panels here and uh make it a little bit girthier still or some type of hand stop or something like that a thumb rest maybe if i do something like that I, I can't because of this thing being on the side. So I moved it to the top. But in order to do so, I uh, I stripped it apart again. And I took the wiring. Now I still need to get a new charging handle for this because it is... Uh, it wasn't broken when I got it, but uh, in the process of uh, tinkering with it and getting it working, that part did wear out. So uh, I took the wiring and I, I fed it up and instead of just going straight over to the left side, I came up and over the top of the gearbox and then out this way over the hop-up unit. And then you still get to the hop-up unit. It's a big, big rotary hop-up wheel and it's still easily, you know, adjustable. Uh, and it holds position quite well. Um, but I ran the wire up through the top there so that when I get it out, I have a little bit more cord on it. Just a tiny bit. And uh, I, went, I, I, I weaved it through and up over the, the barrel and then out through the right side so I could go straight up into the hole that's in the back of this pack box into the battery. Um, was that necessary? <laughs> Did I do it just for my own convenience when I grab this rifle? Yeah, I, I did. You betcha. Just so that I can hold her the way I want to hold her. The way that she wants to be held, which is like this. This is it. This is what she wants. So that's what she gets. And uh, other than other than having to get that new uh, charging handle, because right now it's not doing anything, because the uh, the actual um, this part on the other side it snapped where the pin goes through and pulls on it. But uh, I'll get one eventually, and uh, that'll be fixed. And then I can actually get to my hop up on the fly, like open the chamber and get to it. But until then, um, there's other stuff I have to do. I have to get that wiring finished. But other than that, it works. It works perfectly. It just, it needs some uh, some more work before uh, it works all the time when I want it to. Right now, it, it needs some work to get it to shoot because you gotta jerry-rig the wiring. But after after it's all rewired, it'll be perfect. And then this will be a, uh, a patrol rifle. That's what, I, that's what I've decided to call it um, with semi and full auto. Uh, and I'll have it shooting about 380, 400, somewhere in there. I'll, I'll put it somewhere in there, and I'll get it dialed in real good. It has a, a, a Lalax, I believe, hop-up rubber. Pretty sure it's a Lalax. It might be a Crytac one. I just threw one in it because the one that was in it was so dry-rotted, it just disintegrated as I was, as I was taking it apart. I, I don't even remember if I got it on camera. It just fell apart so quick. 
Um, but it's the uh, it's the FAL OSW, the uh, the Call of Duty Black Ops Two gun, and I'm I'm super stoked that I have one. I love it. And uh, oh god, I'm six minutes into this video. I still got a giveaway going for this KJ Works P226, which is being upgraded. Um, as my subscriber count goes up, I've refurbished it. I've now put a nine ball gasket in there. I got a, a new hop up that I'm gonna be putting in it soon. And uh, I, I'm probably gonna be doing a type or inner barrel for it. But it's getting upgraded as my subscriber count goes up. And once I hit 500, this is gonna be going to someone who comments on one of the videos where I talk about giving away this pistol. And um, that person's gonna be getting a customized gun for just commenting on my video and being subscribed so there's nothing to lose in a sig to gain go for it